choose the most appropriate answer. A and B working together can build a wall. 221 meter long in 11 and 1 by 9 days. If they work on alternate days with A starting the work, it takes 22 and 1 by 4 days to build the same work. If A and B work together and build a similar wall but of twice the length and in a total of rupees 1800 for it, then B share of the earnings will be. Here, work completed in 11 and 1 by 9 days is equal to work completed in 22 and 1 by 4 days because in both the case, work is 221 meter. Now, when A and B work together, work completed in one day is equal to A plus B. But when A and B work alternatively, work completed in two days is equal to A plus B. So, 22 days work is equal to 11 days work. That means, the remaining is 1.9 days work on 1 by 4th day work. So, work completed by A plus B in 1 by 9 days is equal to work completed by A in 1 by 4 days because in the second case, A and B working alternatively. So, first day A will work, second day B will work. Again, on third day A will work. So, this will continue on 22nd day, that is on even day, B will work. Then on the last day, that is 1 by 4th of the last day, again A will work. So, this work completed by A in 1 by 4th day is equal to work completed by A plus B in 1 by 9th day. So, equalize the work. That is, work completed by A in 1 by 4th day is equal to work completed by A plus B in 1 by 9th day. Then A plus B divided by A is equal to 9 by 4. Now you can see A efficiency is 4 unit. A plus B efficiency is 9 unit. That means if A is 4, B is 5. So B efficiency is 5 means B has more efficiency. In that case, we will get more money. So, 1800 by 2 is 900. So, a half of 1800 is 900 means we will get more than 900. In that case, option A is wrong, option B is wrong, option C is also wrong because we will get more rupees than 900 rupees. So, option D is your right answer. Or you can say here efficiency of B is 5 unit and share of B share of B is equal to efficiency of B 5 unit out of total efficiency 9 unit. So, 5 by 9 of total money earned by A and B is 1800. 9 goes 200 times in 1800. So, 5 into 200 is 1000 rupees. So, option D is your answer.